Something I never thought I'd enjoy in the gaming world was walking simulators. And I know that people hate using such a derogative and basic term to describe games like that, but I think that that label has been very well earned by a couple of games out there that give you absolutely sodding nothing except fucking walking. No interaction, no interesting unfolding story based on your connection with the world, no point of what you're doing. You're basically just watching a shitty first person movie in which you need to hold your finger down on a W key or thumbstick to move forward. What I'm trying to say is that it can be done very wrong like with, in my opinion, Dear Esther and Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, but it can also be done very right, and one of those games that did it in my absolute favourite way is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. How do you describe this game? Well, um... It's an exploration, walking, artsy, puzzle, ghost story, mystery, detective, atmospheric, culty game, I don't know. All things considered, I guess that makes it an explore, walk, artist, ghost storm, mist, detect, atmospheric, culty game, look, I don't, I don't know, I don't make up the rules, the game's a fucking idiot. Okay, yeah, it encompasses a lot of things, and the amazing thing is how correctly it combines all of this stuff into a game with an extremely limited control scheme, along with the odd moment where you shit your pants from the shock and surprise of sudden plot elements and gameplay mechanics. In Ethan Carter, you play as paranormal investigator and world-class detective known as Paul Prospero, who receives a letter from his biggest fan, Ethan Carter, begging him to come and find him after he goes missing. Once that intro is out of the way, you're free to roam around some of the most authentic and luscious visuals I've ever seen in a game, truly soak in every inch of the dramatically shifting and beautiful atmosphere, and do what detectives do best, find clues and solve crimes. And for the main drive of the gameplay, that's pretty cool as it is, since every crime you need to reconstruct always throws more devilish and creepy ideas at you to keep them interesting, and the rest of the puzzle solving, world building and story progression is explored and directly interacted upon with many puzzles in store for you. And they range from everything to finally scouring the landscape looking for specific items to take you to space, to finding an abandoned house in which you have to work out through visual hints where each room of the house belongs as you cycle through the rooms to place them in each door frame until you find the correct one and piece it all together. I know that doesn't really make much sense, but it makes sense when you actually play it. Most of what you find is abandoned, and the sound design, soundtrack, and visuals all work in tangent to create an air of crippling loneliness and oftentimes terrifying suspenseful ambience I have yet to find in another game like this. And as the plot thickens, more murders and treacheries get uncovered and more puzzles are solved, you get ever so close to figuring out what happened in this disturbing and intriguing abandoned world that was left behind, for you to only then get a monster of a plot twist and such a depressing ending that you don't care what the point of everything was building up to. And it's not just a shocking ending for the sake of it, it exists and makes sense within the world that you play through and it makes you question and reflect on everything you just did. It, it's hard to describe it in depth without ruining it. Without spoiling any more though, I'll just say that The Vanishing of Ethan Carter is the best walking simulator I personally have ever played, and one that if you aren't fond of the genre but want to see the potential of it, I'd say go and play. Today's deal with the Pixel Empire in the description below is the I Choose series, a collection of three incredible prints from the original Pokemon, and ones that you can choose to get individually or as a special discounted bundle. And as always, the discount code of CADDY on checkout gives you an extra 15% off on top of the bundle deal, so yeah, go and have a look, and don't make me poke you onto them. But please do tell your friends, because then you could poke Emon. <laughs> Until tomorrow, stay tuned and stay beautiful, I'm, sh I'm shit.